the Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. <laughs> today I am remaking my lavender cotton soap and it is so popular and so delicious. So today I'm going to mix up the design. Come along with me and I'll show you how I do it. Squee! First things first, I'm going to add my cooled lye water to my cooled oils. And in my oils, I've got olive oil, and coconut oil, and canola oil, and soybean oil, and apricot kernel oil, and shea butter, and castor oil, all mixed up in there. And that list was quantitative. So now I've just mixed up my base, and I'm adding my yummy, yummy fragrance oil. And I love this lavender fragrance oil. It's the closest to lavender essential oil that I've ever found, and it sticks for ages in the soap, and it smells really, 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 really good, and I love it. So I'm changing up my design today by not only using just purple, but also using blue mica, azure blue, and purple berries. And they're from micamama.com. And these micas are beautiful, they're so bright and so vibrant. And I'm just using a little bit of each, so they'll be my accent colors. There goes the titanium dioxide in the base to lighten it a little bit and help those colors contrast. And I'm using my mini mixer to mix up my colors in the little cups here. And these are just little plastic shot glasses that I bought at the supermarket that I'm mixing these up into. They are um, not, not like the kind of ones you buy for one use and throw away. They're a bit thicker. The plastic's thicker. So that I, I wash them out and reuse them because, you know, there's enough plastic in the world. So I'm just giving them these are real thorough mix, trying to make sure I get all that colour up off the bottom. And now it's time for us to pour our base into the mould. And it's beautiful, fluid soap. That's another great thing about this fragrance. It's really, really, really stable and cold processed soap, which is so cool. So first of all, I'm pouring in the blue soap. And then I'm coming back through with the purple soap. And both times I started pouring at one end of the mould. So when we cut it later, you'll see why that's kind of not the best tactic. That's all right, learning, learning. So I'm going through with the hanger tool now and giving it a beautiful hanger swirl. I'm really digging the hanger tool. I love the surprise of the swirl. So the final touch is just to come through with a chopstick and swirl the very top. So I'm just going left to right, left to right across the length of the mould and then up and down the length of the mould to create a sort of a feathered swirl. Really love this. Such a pretty way to top the soap. And I also put glitter on and I also put some little dollops of purple soap on the top. And sorry, my camera ran out so you didn't see that. But here we are back the next day and we're going to cut the soap on my choice wicked new multi-bar cutter. Love this thing. It makes me just breeze through the cutting. No guesswork and every single bar weighs exactly the same, which is so cool. So yeah, it's a bit of a hard one this time. I should have cut it just a little bit sooner, I think, having to press down. But look at that beautiful swirl. I love it. I love how the blue came. I love how the purple came out. They both look gorgeous. I've just flipped the view so you guys can get a really good look at the swirl. And as you can see, these two bars got the biggest, most detailed swirls because that's where I started pouring the colour. And as we go on down the loaf, the colour is in a shallower and shallower place each time. So that's a little bit of a shame. Still love how the swirl came out. Love how these soaps look and smell. They are so delicious. They um, smell very much, like I said earlier, like the lavender essential oil to me. Not like a fragrance oil. Because I've smelled a lot of lavender fragrance oils that I just didn't like is what I'm trying to get at. So here's the final bars, and I really hope that you enjoyed watching me make these soaps as much as I enjoyed making them. 
I'm so chuffed at that swirl on the end there. I just need to get a little bit more consistent with the way that I pour the colour and then I can get every bar looking like that. But I like how these look like blossoms. Gorgeous! Absolutely chuffed with these soaps. I think they are just so gorgeous and so pretty and smell good and everything. So tick, tick, tick of all the boxes. <laughs> so now I'm just going to show you some pictures of the wet soap right before I put the toppers and the glitter on. And then here's the soap with the glitter and the toppers on. Just such a really delicate swirl. I'm loving how that swirl came out. And a picture of the final bars. And this week I'd like to highlight Chiara Caldiron and her gorgeous soap inspired by the Blarney Stone. Isn't it amazing? It's just beautiful and she shared it in our Star Soaps group over on Facebook and we all loved it. So if you'd like your photo highlighted, come along and join our Star Soaps family on Facebook. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button, become a member of our Star Soaps family and feel the soap you love. Star, star, soap, soap, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is real. Make it feel up high, make it feel up smooth. When you get your bubbles, when you know it's getting cool. I love star, soap, soap, soup, soap, 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 soap,